Hi everyone, it's Animal649 here. I'm going to show you how I render my captured gameplay video from the Avamedia C281 game capture device with Sony Vegas Pro 10. Uh, there is a problem with audio when you put the video in the timeline, but I will show you how you get around that. Um, Avamedia do say on the website for some editing software, including Sony Vegas, to convert the file to AVI to MP3, but I'll show you what you need to do. Right, the first thing we do is we import our captured video. So we go to File, <coughs> excuse me, Import to Media. This is it here. This is um, Uncharted 3. I double click on there. Then what we do, we drag this into the timeline. But as you can see, we have a video, but very little audio. So if I just put play now. Waiting 20 years for? This is what you get. Fast forward it, play. As you can see, the guy's moving and there's no sound at all. So this is what happens if you don't convert it to MP4. That AV Media's got a converter that is for free, and I put the link into the um, into my description as well. So if I just stop that, I will come out, and I will. Excuse me, sorry about that. So this is the game capture. This is uh, the Ava Media um, game capture builder. So we go to where you've kept your raw file. So obviously it's this one here. Okay, we open that, and then we're going to convert to MP4. So this is going to be where it's going to go. So it's going to be in exactly the same places where I've got the other bits and pieces as well. If I go to, well, I can't, but that's it. If I put this as, um, what is it, London Underground, isn't it? London Underground, and I'll put MP4, MP4, and then I'm going to convert it, save. So we've got the raw file, AVI, and we're going to, and this is the converted MP4 file. So press start. Before I do it, if you look at the time, it's very fast, it's 8.28. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the, the obviously, the um, this tutorial, and then I'll get back to it. So like I say, it's 8.28, I'm going to press start. All right, I'll see you guys when it's done. Welcome back. As you can see, it's converted the file, and the time's 8.30. Um, it's taken two minutes to convert, I think it's 2.86 um, gigabyte of uh, video. So now... If I double click on there, <coughs> excuse me again, this is the finished product, there you go, MP4, uh, 2.86 gigabyte in two minutes to convert that, um, that's very fast, um, I'll close that one, so what we do now, right, we'll get rid of this, uh, this video because we don't need it, so you right click on it, remove from project, and then it goes. We're going to import the MP4. We go back to File, Import, Media. There it is there. And as you can see, MP4 is 2.86 gigabytes. And the AVI is 2.86 gigabytes as well. So we haven't lost anything. Double click. Drag it into the timeline. And as you can see, we now have um, audio as well from start to finish. Right, these are going to be my rendering settings now. We go to here, Event Pan Crop, we click in the box, and then what we do is just move these up very slightly. I don't know if you could if you look over there, it type of moves. So you're just getting rid of black edges or stuff like that. Then we can press X there. We now right click on the video as well to properties. You've got loop, maintain aspect ratio, and you've got smart resample. Uh, checked. What we want to do is check disabled resample and when you do that, that one disappears. Press OK. If you, if I go here, let's, 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 so you can see the black lines there, you've got black line, black line there. I don't know if I press play just to see. He was an archaeologist. I don't know if you can see what the picture quality is like. And even when he was just a kid, slight, he was obsessed with history. Um, slight blur on there. So next, we're going to go to File, we go to Properties, 
we look for HDV 720 by 30p, 1280 by 720, 29.970 FPS, width 1280, height 720, field order none, progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio 1.0000 squared, output rotation 0%, frame rate 29.970 NTSC, stereoscopic 3D mode, that's off, pixel format 8 bit, 8 bit, bid. <laughs> so we change that to 32 bit floating point full range, but just keep your eye on this here as well. Composition gamma 1.00 layer, full resolution quality, rendering quality, we change from good to best. Motion blur type, Gaussian, I can't say that one. And deinterlaced method, it says blend fields. And what we do, we change that to none. And then when we uh, click apply, like I say, you've got black line, big thick black line there, big thick black line at the top. There we go, we've got full screen. That's done. Everything to do with I don't know if you see the difference now. There is a slight difference. There's no type of lineage it's all in here. Uh, you lost I don't me think completely. you might say I don't what think you can actually do with Drake. Pause that. And now we go to rendering. This is going to be your final video, video bit. So render as. I'm going to name this as my um, London Underground. Oh, capitals, I hate capitals, damn, London underground, and what we want, we want it as Windows Media Video V11, so click on this one here, Windows Media Video V11, WMV, and also we want it as 6MBPS HD 72030P video, and there we go as well. If you go to custom, you can change change it over to whatever you want. So that's that one. And then I put um, I did put the YouTube bit on there as well. So that's basically exactly that the same one. That's it. Then all you do is hit save, like I'm doing now. So that's that's um, my rendering settings. Um, I hope this is okay and that this will help some of you. Like I say, with um, the Ava Media. You have to have it on MP4. Sometimes I don't need to use the converter, but most of the times I do. Okay then guys and girls, I hope that's okay. Cheers.